Oh, another question? Punin mo yung isang bag. Yung isang bag doon, ibigay ko sa aking kaibigan. Pasisa lang kayo mga kapatid ha. Itong bisita natin na taga Sweden, mayro mayroon akong bag ibigay sa kanya. Baka sabihin niyo favoritism, siya lang ang bibigyan. Kayo hindi. Okay. Kasi paminsan-minsan lang may bisita tayo dito puti. Okay. From Sweden na, sir, you are a professor. I would like to interview you, sir, because it's my honor you are here. Okay. So, it's and especially you will be in oh, YouTube yeah. also. Yes. So, uh, it's my privilege and honor that you came here. This is our gift for you, oh. bag, inshallah, with uh, toothpaste and toothbrush. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, it's our honor Thanks. that you are here. Thanks. And so, Asiri Duha Kata. Thank you. So, I would like to have a short interview with yep. you, yep. if you don't mind. No, no. Uh, what's your full name, sir? Ingmar Karlsson. Ingmar Karlsson. Yes, yes. From where? Uh, Sweden. Uh, John Shipping is south of Stockholm. Yes, Stockholm, yeah. Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're a professor, right? Yes. You are teaching what? Uh, philosophy, religion, and uh, counseling. Ah, yeah. philosophy, religion, and counseling. He is a professor in Sweden. So it's our honor and privilege. You, Filipinos, see? Alhamdulillah. You don't have any questions? I have many questions. Okay. It's our, uh, it's our, uh, it's your time. It's your turn. Okay. And we are happy if you have some questions. If you could not answer, we we'll just say, sorry, sir, I don't know. But if we will, if you question, we will try our best to answer. Yeah, you know, I, I have got to understand that yeah. uh, you as Muslims are very into medicine, mathematics and science, right? Yes, yes. And I'm back to the question regarding fasting. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to medical research, mm -hmm. it's not very good to do that kind of fasting, you know, during the day and fill your stomach during the night. Mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, not good for your health. Mm -hmm. How could you explain this? Yeah. Because you want to be a kind of scientific, right? Yes. And medically scientific. But this is not a good way to live, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. But what is your answer? Very good uh, question, right? There is also the research, if you research on fasting, on the research of, about fasting, many in the field of medicines and science, they said the, the, the oldest medicine, the oldest medicine is fasting. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. said the oldest medicine yeah, yeah. is fasting. So well, your question is, when you fast on the day and you eat a, a lot yeah. during night, this is not good for her health. You fast during day and you eat a lot during night, well, you will have trouble. In Islam, you know, when we fast, when the sun set, we have to eat only little. Uh, tamar, especially tamar and uter, and little uh, fruit, and then just to break the fast. Then you have to pray Maghrib. After a few minutes, we come and eat little. It's, we are in Islam. We are not allowed to eat too much to fill our stomach, because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, "Your stomach is divided into three: air, water, and food. So when you eat, leave the other part for water and air. So we are not allowed to eat." Uh, to fill our stomach with rice or whatsoever. So, Muslims should eat only little. Because according to Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, Satan ate, he had seven stomachs. Satan ate too much. So, Muslims should eat little, little. Okay, and good for the body. Too much, and drink too much, everything which is too much, it's what? The effect is bad. Everything is too much. Even sex. If it's too much, problems. But if it is only regular, it's medicinal for the body. Right? So, no, more questions. Let's go. I, I, I just want to say I have only one wife. Alhamdulillah. And, yeah. So, you know, and I don't have any mistresses or anything. Good, Alhamdulillah. No, no, right. Good, very good. So, I, I want to be clear on that. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, uh, another question is, you know, According to uh, your belief, yeah. you, you do claim to give too much attention to miracles mm -hmm. because it could be demanding. Uh, um, it could be um, a kind of connection with demons, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but still you claim to have miracles uh, among the Muslims, right? Or do you? Uh -huh. The question of miracles. Yes. Uh, do you assign to it or do you think it's kind of improper with miracles? Yes. When you say miracle, what the, the meaning of miracle meaning things that will happen 
uh, beyond normal thing. Meaning, happening, meaning beyond extra human capability, this is miracle. Okay? Anything that exceeds the limits of human capacity, it's a miracle. Okay. Prophet, we do not believe, what you said now, what we do not believe in miracle, it's contrary to Islam. Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam, the last prophet and messenger, he said, my last miracle is the Quran. The living miracle is the Quran. He said that many times, the living miracle is the Quran. So to say that we don't believe in miracle, it is against Islam. And in fact, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wasallam, he performed a lot of miracles. The water come, uh, were coming from his fingers. And he also uh, divided the moon. And uh, there are so many. Miracles during the time the animal was talking during his time, and when he lay on the the trunk of the tree in Medina Tamar, the Tamar also was talking. So many things. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But the best of the miracle that living, it is living, and you can see and read the Quran. Why it is a miracle? It is the only book never been revised. Uh, never been revised and it is memorized by millions of Muslims. No other book on earth memorized literally from cover to cover. Okay. I hope you have more questions. Uh, please, thank you. Uh, I, I want to thank you so much. Yeah, yes. uh, uh, it was very kind, uh, kind yeah. of you to get, uh, yeah. let me yeah. talk here. Yes, uh, yes. Questions. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. No more questions? Uh, no. I like it. Let, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You have only one wife. Yes. Your wife is not around? She's up the, at the whole time. She's tired. I, I'm walking too much with her, you know. She so, gets tired. Uh, so you are lucky. You can tell us that yeah. straight, fa straight yes. forward. Yeah. yeah. Your wife now is only one. When you see, see beautiful lady, yeah. lady, beautiful ladies, there is no extra feeling to these beautiful ladies. <laughs> I have to confess sometimes. <laughs> But, but still, you know, your wife is not here. No problem. <laughs> but still, I have to say, you know, I'm 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 uh, very pleased with my wife, uh, and I want to honor her yes. by not having an another woman yes. beside her. Yes, I want to honor her. Yes. Yeah. Actually, in Islam, marrying more than one is not a command. Is that an yeah, order? Yeah, yes, yes. It's a circumstantial yes, law yes, yes. that Allah allows you to do that. But it's not required for Muslim to marry two or three. It's not an order of Allah. Oh, no question. And they have difficulty. Sometimes English is uh, exhausted. No? Uh, oh, have any question? Can you ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to so mga kababayan, mga, ta mga Tagalog dyan, magtatagalog na lang tayo, magtanong kayo dito. Dumaming tao, alhamdulillah. So, ano pang tanong? Wala na? Ano? Wala tanong? I'm asking if you have some question. They have no question. They enjoy. You know, that's the first time to have like you here and from the West asking question. That's why see, people here are, you know, they, uh, they feel very happy and glad being here with us. Okay. Nahirapan talaga yung gila ko. Maganda din ito para mahilot-hilot ko minsan eh. Ano pa? Ano? Wala kayong tanong dyan mga kapatid? Sige, nagabisaya, alika. Salamat.